Wednesday, February 14, 2024. 157 out of a CLS 63. I receive the head studs. Okay. And I can continue. I'm going to remove the stock, the OEM head bolts, and installing the head studs. Now, you see one difference? This is not mine. This is not what I have ordered in the past. This is from a different company. I don't remember. I don't know from which company actually they ordered it. But there are 36 millimeter threads here. Okay. And the tip, okay, it's short. All right. It, it has need to have more threads here. 41, if I remember right. And the tip has to be almost a half length from what you see here for the M57. Now, what is going to happen with these studs? What happened before? Uh, this time is not going to happen. I take care of some things. Okay. Uh, but what happened before? When I try to torque it down, they are saying uh, three steps to 150 newton meters. The, that time I have a video that I reached at 100 newton meters and I destroy the threads in the block. Like I said, this time is not going to happen because I have to take care of the block. All right. Uh, second thing. This stud is never gonna bottom out. If you want to see what I mean, you can watch the video with the studs for the M57. All right, this if you compare it with the M56, it's exactly the same, just only has a little bit more threads here. That's the only difference. And like I said, go watch the video, you'll understand what I'm saying. Now, what will gonna happen when I put it in? It will gonna stop here at these threads. It's not going to stop here because we're going to have more threads down and it's not going to bottom out the stud. You're going to just stop here. All right. If it was, if the block down where are the studs inside, where they're going in studs, it was bone stock, then I have a high chances to destroy the threads. But not now because inside has a custom helicoil at 41 millimeters. It's not, you can find in the market, I think, 30, 33 millimeters helicoil, something like that. But this helicoil, it's a custom at 41 millimeters. So we're not gonna destroy the threads, not today. But it's gonna be nice, like I said before, you know, to be to have engagement in all of the threads and to bottom out. Like I said before, my measurements when I make these studs before, they're stopping on these threads. They're stopping on these threads because there are no more threads and it's stopping also down in three spots. One, two, three. The specific one is going to stop only here. Only up. All right. Now, torque wrench, breaker bar, the 13 millimeters, half inch socket. The nut, it's a half inch. All right. Fine. Uh, ARP lubricant. And by the way, it's not designed by the ARP. This, this is somebody ordered it. Eh? I have mentioned that before. Don't confuse yourself. You cannot find it on the catalog. It's somebody ordered it, and he give the dimensions. And the dimensions, what they give, for me at least, it's not right. In any case, now, how's the plan? Remove one bolt, install one stud, torque it down. Remove one bolt, install the stud, torque it down for final not three equal steps, because I have already torqued down the cylinder head. So it's gonna go direct to 120 Newton meters. That's how much I'm torquing down. I'm not going at 150. I'm going at 120, and that's what I'm doing all the time, and I don't have any problem. And that's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue doing. So that's the plan. Unwrap the engine, start working on the engine. If you didn't have the 41 millimeter helicoil inside, 41 millimeter, it's not only the, it's about that you have a helicoil inside and stainless steel. Um, you have high chances to pull out the threads. All right, you can, you can read the reviews, I think, or there is, in any case, yeah. If you search about it, you'll gonna see what I'm talking about. Now, let's do it. Let's start working. I have uncovered the engine, I have installed already one stud here, and you see how high it sits, all right? It, it comes back memories, <laughs> it comes back memories. Now, if you measure here how many threads 
it's from the nut and up, that's the amount. This is approximately 11 millimeters, okay? So that's the amount of the threads that are coming up, and that's what's remaining. You're gonna tell me there is also the washer here. Yeah, you're right. But that's how many threads it's remaining here up. And that's why I'm saying that this studs it's from M156, and it's not even right for M156, but it's working. As soon as it's working, you cannot say something, right? So, yep, that's the reason why I said that it need to come more deep. If you see the studs that I ordered at that time that I give the dimensions, it's leaving a couple of millimeters here up. It's different than these studs, all right? In any case, one's been torqued down. Let's go for the second one to finalize it. That's it with the studs. That's how that looks like. You see how much high it sits? Yeah, all of them, they sit the same. It's on the same height, all of them. Because the design, it's not, it's, it is what it is, all right? I have already a video for these studs. In any case, it's been torqued down from both banks. All right, you can see that inside. Time to uh, put a brake linen in a rug, clean the surfaces, get the covers from there, put the new guide. Uh, why I'm saying that? Let me show you. Here we go. The covers here, all right? The new guides here. Assembly grease at these points here, and the same thing here, and on the guide. Then bolts and torquing down. Classic like any other time. Yay, I didn't, I haven't said that today, right? Okay. I already put it, yeah, lovely, it's fine. It's fine, pay attention, this engine had only two brackets here, it doesn't have the front one, because the older one, all right? It's nothing critical, I already used the other bridge that I had, I think that I showed you on the previous video. In any case, start dressing it, Okay, I closed the covers, I closed front for the cam actuators, I put the fuel rail, both fuel rails, centrifugal back, the high pressure pump housing, vacuum pump, the plug here back, the upgrade pumps. Okay, I haven't put the bolts yet, obviously. What's remaining? I need to change this pulley, make sound, I need to change also the rest of the pulleys, I want to, what is remaining? Ah, it's remaining also for the oil filter housing, the seal. I'll put the new plug here. All right. And I need to continue with the uh, fuel line for the low pressure. Okay, leave this there. Fine. It, he, he, one, one friend of mine that I have to see him months now, maybe, no, maybe a year. I remember when I see him last time, maybe more than a year. Uh, he came here to visit me today. So I'm gonna pause a little bit this engine and I'm gonna continue tomorrow. It's not a big deal, almost done, all right. The spark plugs are already installed. It. I have the ignition coils, the ignition coils are over there. All right, lovely. Yeah, I need also the seal for that. Like I said, the turbos are over there. There's some studs and nuts, I have it there, gas it's there. This goes back to the customer. This is the high pressure pumps, the stock one. That's the bracket, fuel lines that I'm not gonna use because they have great pumps. Okay, starter here. Wiring, I already put it there. We're moving on, moving on. Alternator, nice compressor, I don't have it here. Maybe they have it outside the guys. Yeah, probably. All right, that's it for now. Small update, for a small update. Tomorrow the rest, when are we gonna receive also the rest of the parts? Pulleys, the new pulleys, the seal, like I said. This, I haven't tied it for final. There is a filter inside. It's a second, that's why I make it facing like this, down, because I'm gonna show you. I'm not gonna be able to show you, yeah? Okay, there is a filter inside, all right? That's it for now. Thank you. Over and out. Tomorrow the rest. 
I want to see my friends, you know. Thank you.